all right now what we need to do now is to just set up our foreground and background properly so for this video especially this effect i don't really need to tracking scene so i just delete this background just take one out and we are fine okay so the next thing is to this ground i don't need it also i will set this up for you so you can understand it better so you don't need to follow along with the default one that tender provide for us so i'll just delete this also and let's do this the way we want it to be okay so the first thing we now we need is to just take this camera now first of all let's check our motion tracking to see well our tracking so is to orient this properly the way we oriented it before is not quite nice so we can do this in the view both ourselves so press r just reset it then click here to view this then set this properly now you can see that we have a lot of tracking in the depth so this is to notice you that this is tracking is really nice so even you have tracking in the depth as this footage you can see that this footage is very wide one so now you can see now that we have a better sub and orient of this same so the next thing to do is now to arrange and animate our aircraft so for this aircraft it's very easy i already provide a rig for this aircraft so you can animate anything you can see on this aircraft even the flaps the propeller the everything you can animate it okay let me show you now this is the amateur uh, that i created for this and when you click on it then you go to post mode here yeah. okay now you can just click on the top here and and mix it you can see that it moves so when you keyframe this it will also be good okay now you can see that we already moved this back so let's play this to know where we put this in the same okay so let's play this now okay from frame okay let's play this again so from here the, the aircraft should freeze i guess so 105 let's choose that as our main source so from 105 the frame the all the scene will freeze okay now just click on this click here so anything you do in this animation it will save and add a keyframe to this so you can change it later and when you don't turn on this and you do all the animation it will save this as a keyframe okay just note that just click on this and let's bring this forward to the same like so so for us to know where this aircraft should be in depth so first of all we'll go back to object then click on this right here so i can see that the guy the character is more near to the camera than this so we don't choose this but we can use this as a parallel so we can choose something like this and we drag the aircraft more forward so that's this you can see here so you just click on the aircraft then drag it more forward so we can have a better view of where the aircraft should be okay so i think here is better just drag it back a little okay now just s to resize it a little then rotate it now r then z to rotate it on the z axis like so okay so drag it down so don't make sure you watch it you don't make it to come down too much all right so you do this properly r then x to move it up like so okay so as you can see that this aircraft has the tires the wheel so you can rig this and hide them oh, i'll just leave this for the sake of the tutorial so i don't want to take so much of your time so this is very handy so you can use this this is a nice building aircraft and you can okay. use this on your project so i will just orient this the way i want so as you can see that this is animating so we don't need we don't need to delete one keyframe here just press hold i then delete this all right just go to the second keyframe and just delete this also i then delete it 
So we, you know, we say that our own keyframe we are using is 105. So that's our target frame. So let's go back to the 105 and turn off this first. Then let's orient it to the other one. Okay, I think this is really cool. Okay, let's go back to the 105. Okay, then turn on the key back. Now let's add some key here. Just click on some arrows here then we have the key. Here. So go back to something like 70. So the beginning of the frame. So you know to animate this, just drag this way back, way back. So when you, to the extent that you don't see the tracking scene again, way back. So let's do this. You now I can see that this is already coming from the sky as you can see. Now move back also. Let's view it again. Now drag this up. Hard to rotate. Okay, so this is really looking better. So now when you come to something like frame 80 here, yeah, you can see that it's coming, but it's not as quick as we want. Now let's drag this forward a little, then rotate the flaps like R, then Y, and then rotate it like so. So we have some nice aircraft parallels in there. So this is really coming forward. So we need to drag this down a little. Or we can just rotate it the other way, R, then Y. Rotate it the other way, then R and Z. So move this here, then drag it to the side also. So. Okay, now when you play this now, Okay, you see that it trees when it stops at frame 105 and that is exactly what we are looking for. Okay. So I also want to rotate it back. R. Then Y. Then make it straight. R. X. Make it look down. Then R. Z. Rotate it to the left. Okay, now this is... Okay, this is better. And for this, it really moves back. Okay, and let's check this. So back to this frame. Let's move this back a little. So it will be more faster coming back. No, it's not exactly on this frame. So we'll just undo that, then back to the frame. So if you want to snap everything back to the keyframe you had, just click here. Click here, then it will snap to the keyframe. So I'll just snap to the keyframe like so, just back a little. Okay, so when you play this now, okay, it's very fast, all right. And this is better, as you can see. Okay, now that is better.